Hey guys, welcome to another video for my year 2017 for August. And our prompt for this month is hot and cold, which is a challenging prompt, I admit, even for us teachers. I will encourage you, as I have done over my week, that I'm um, showing you different ways to use the prompt in your journal um, to think outside the box take it as something other than literally you can take it literally if that's your choice but um, you also can instead of using it as hot or cold temperature am I hot or cold I could really go off on that one because I'm menopausal so you know those of you fellow women out there of a certain age yeah we could just go all crazy with that one and you can be my guest <laughs> um, um, but also maybe you could take it like are you in a hot or cold mood are you, um, is your creative spirit um, cold and dead and flat right now? Or is it hot and fiery and cr driving you crazy? Or are you somewhere in between and just content? Uh, nothing wrong with content, by the way. Um, so take it outside the box and maybe you just want to decorate your pages in either cool or warm colors. So um, Take it however you choose. Uh, watch the lessons this week and what the other teachers are bringing you also and see what you want to do with it. I did have kind of an idea for something really kind of super easy that you can put into your journal. I'm going to do it in mine. And I think I'm going to do it um, here. Okay, so what about your favorite hot or cold drink? Right? Maybe it's coffee, maybe it's tea. For me right now at the moment, the one that came immediately to mind, I know, shocking, it's not coffee. <laughs> um, when we went to Alaska last year, my husband and I, we spent some time before and after with my parents who live in Washington State. And um, I also was back there recently with them. And they have totally gotten us hooked on, it's probably totally bad for me, but this Nestle Splash flavored water. I know it's probably, I don't drink soda, but this is probably good because I drink a lot of this stuff. I shouldn't. Um, it's become my new current favorite drink. I do love coffee, don't get me wrong. Um, so we're gonna do something with this um, that's gonna revolve around the lemon flavor. It happens to be my favorite. Now I will tell you, I have in my line of stamps a citrus um, design and I also have a citrus stencil. If you're uncomfortable with your drawing, um, of whatever cold drink you're choosing to do, like in my case I'm doing a lemon. Um, I have, I could choose not to draw it, and I could choose to just stamp this citrus shape for my stamp set. This is stamp set number six. You can get it in my Etsy shop. I also have a stencil. Let's see, it's in here somewhere. These are all my stencils. There we go, citrus. So whatever your drink may be that is your favorite drink that you want to give a special place in your journal this month, um, maybe it's a cup of coffee and you know, see if you have an appropriate themed stamp. Maybe you have a stencil that looks like coffee beans or something like that. So look and see what you have. I'm gonna just draw something because I'm in the mood to doodle, um, but you don't have to. So I'm just gonna put that out there. Uh, I do kind of think I want to, I was going to trim this, but I don't think I'm going to. I think we're going to just put it on that way. I just pulled this off the water bottle I'm currently drinking. We're going to use some of this Aileen's Turbo Tacky. I'm a little bit out of breath today. My asthma has been acting up lately, so I apologize if I sound weird and I'm hard to understand. Okay, so we're going to put this here. Not quite in the middle. Kind of, you know, move it around a little bit. Put some glue under there. Okay. So then we're going to take our trusty Bic crystal pen, plain old Bic pen, right? So let's doodle a lemon that's sort of coming out on either side of our water bottle label here. More on kind of one side than the other. So just like a I'm 
I'm going to zoom in a little bit for you all. And I'm, I'm being messy, but I'm kind of being intentionally messy. I don't want it to be perfect. And Lord knows that's not perfect, but I like it. I'm going to go in first with my white gel pen. Now, of course, I did say you can you could do this. With a stamp or a stencil and do something interesting. You, you know, you can use your stencil and trace around it. You don't have to paint with it. So you could lay the stencil down and then use a pencil and trace around the shapes. You know, we all forget that you can do that with stencils because I think we're too used to painting with them. I've got these yellow pens. This is the Postilla paint marker from the Daiso, the Japanese dollar store. I think it's their version of a um, Posca marker. Um, what I do notice from using them is that it's not as pigmented as Posca. As you can see, it's a little bit more like translucent, transparent. The Poscas are usually more opaque. I love lemon. There's a little secret about me you probably didn't know. My favorite flavor of biscotti, which is an Italian cookie for those of you who don't know, um, is um, lemon blueberry. I haven't made them in a long time. I think I need to rectify that soon. I don't make them often because I want to eat the whole batch by myself. <laughs> That's not a good thing. This is a yellow Derwent graphic liner. I'm going to turn it around so that, you know, I don't stick my hand in anything that might still be wet. Because, you know, that would maybe be bad. I love that. That is an interesting page. So now I'm going to go back to the big pen. Let's see. I'll try to figure out how I want to write this on here. I think I'm going to write here. Then I'm going to go back and highlight the word lemon with yellow. Actually, maybe white and then yellow so the yellow shows up better. So let's put some white over that. dry dry <laughs> yeah
Okay, so now I'm going to continue highlighting certain words and I'm going to go over them first with a white gel pen. This is a Uniball Signo. Any white gel pen will work. This is just the one I have. And it's written over a lot of acrylic paint, so it's... Gel pens don't like when you do that, so... <laughs> Learn from my mistakes, people. <laughs> Alright, so we'll go back with the Derwent Graphic Liner. In yellow. That is a cute little page. I love it. So have some fun decorating your journal this month, doing something that you love, highlighting something that makes you smile, keeping in mind the theme for the month of warm, hot, and cold. I almost said warm and cold and cold and just go with it um, and play and have fun. Anne is coming tomorrow and she is going to bring with you her year her take blush she's gonna bring you her take on the same prompt. If you want to see Anne's video, see what everybody else is up with, chat with any one of us four teachers, Anne, Williamson, Cindy Utter, Jerry Bellini or myself. Um, or anything else, the link for the group is in the video description. So go over there and join. And the only way to get in is to ask. Um, it's free. There's no cost. Uh, if you would like to um, support the free content, though, over in the Facebook group and here on YouTube, um, you um, can do, certainly do that. I appreciate it very much. You can shop in my Etsy shop. You can uh, leave a tip in the tip jar. Uh, visit my website, look around, there's a lot of stuff over there. The links for all those things are in the video description, um, so check it out. Uh, I even have an Amazon wish list, so anyway, um, you can buy me a gift from there. Uh, that's it for today. The most important thing, go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself, because you deserve it, and I'll see you later. Bye, guys.